in the heart of a desolate countryside, where the road was lost to overgrown grass and the trees cast long, menacing shadows, stood Hollow House. This abandoned mansion had long been the stuff of local legends, a place spoken of only in hushed tones around campfires. No one dared to go near it, for they said it was cursed. The house itself was a dark, looming monstrosity, its windows shattered and its once grand facade now crumbling with age. Ivy crawled up the decaying walls, and the entire structure seemed to sag under the weight of its own malevolence. It was said that no one who entered Hollow House ever returned. One moonless night, a group of daring teenagers decided to prove the legends wrong. Among them was Sarah, the fearless leader of the group. Armed with flashlights and a misguided sense of invincibility, they approached Hollow House, its grotesque silhouette growing larger and more ominous as they drew nearer. As they stepped inside, the air grew unnaturally cold, and a suffocating feeling of dread settled over them like a shroud. The house was a labyrinth of decaying rooms, each more foreboding than the last. It was as if the very walls held memories of the horrors that had transpired within. In the dim light of their flashlights, they ventured deeper into the house, their voices reduced to mere whispers. Strange sounds echoed through the hallway's ghostly footsteps, mournful whispers, and the creaking of floorboards that seemed to mimic the heartbeat of a malevolent entity. Sarah led her friends to a grandiose, dilapidated ballroom. It was there that they encountered something that defied explanation a flickering, ghostly figure that appeared to be dancing in the moonlight that filtered through the shattered windows. Its movements were graceful and haunting, and it beckoned them to join in the spectral waltz. Paralyzed by both terror and fascination, the teenagers hesitated, torn between the eerie beauty of the dance and the gut-wrenching fear that gnawed at their souls. But as they took their first tentative steps toward the phantom dancer, the atmosphere grew even colder, and the room seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy. Suddenly, the apparition's graceful dance turned into a frenetic, malevolent frenzy. It lunged at them with a chilling wail, its bony fingers grasping for their throats. Panic-stricken, they fled the room, their screams echoing through the haunted mansion. They stumbled out of Hollow House, their hearts pounding and their bodies drenched in cold sweat. The malevolent presence of the mansion seemed to cling to them, a reminder that some places are better left undisturbed. From that day forward, Hollow House was avoided more than ever, its cursed reputation solidified by the horrifying ordeal of those who had dared to enter. It stood as a chilling testament to the fact that some horrors are not mere legends but very real, lurking in the darkest corners of the world, waiting for those foolish enough to seek them out.